hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video and today i'm gonna be working on programming a 2000 i believe 2013 dutch grand caravan and the customer lost all the keys on this car so today we're gonna be doing all keys lost and i already have my key here it's a unlock key uh, it's an used one, but I I know how to unlock them. You have to remove the uh, the little circuit board inside and do um, some sort of coding with a special tool called BBDI. I actually have a video for it, and I'll leave it in the description, or it's gonna be up here, so you can watch it. All right. So on mostly dodges. If you get a key like this, you can open the switch. It doesn't matter if it's uh, not programmed or anything. It allows you to open the switch. And once it allows you to open the switch, that means the key, it's, it's good to be programmed. But as you can see, the light is flashing. So that means the car is in lock mode or anti theft And by that, we have to program the key for this car but the first thing is get a tool like this one especially you're gonna need this one because you need the pin code the four digits and I'm gonna select a mobilizer it's a used model Dodge and right here we have to select smart mode because that's the pin code we're gonna need and we just wait for it yeah if it's older give priority and uh, it says if it's um older than six so that means like from 2005 four one and down you have to use different but it's if it's 2006 and older like the newest models just press ok and it's gonna extract the P number automatically in this car. Most of the newer, newer cars, this tool pulls the pin code automatically. And it says if it's a smart key, it's not a smart key. This is a phobic key. And please switch the ignition off and on again. Make sure the engine is off. Obviously it's not gonna turn on. And we press OK. We wait for it just wait 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 until it gives you interest you can see this is the password for this card 5530 and what I like about this tool you don't have to write it down once you go to the programming section it's gonna pop the password automatically and as you can see I just press some information it says the ID of the chip number you need and the maximum keys can be that can be programmed in this car and that's the key for this car it's just three buttons panic unlock and lock it depends on different cars you can program as many different remotes for this car like for example if the car has sliding doors that are automatically automatic motors then you need something like this for the trunk. But in this case, I'm just gonna use this. We press escape. We're gonna see the immobilizer status on this car. See. Please make sure the engine is off. Yes, it's on. Okay, now we see all the the things, the canvas, it's, um, scanning for everything, make sure everything is connected because we need the card to be always in the can communicating with model, mo each module so we just scan, this is a really cool tool it tells you if there's any any codes so yeah, this is pretty cool it says read pin code, I already read the pin code and if you replace components or something, gives you also. But in this case, I'm just gonna add a key. 
we press that and it says turn the ignition off insert the key to be learned and then turn the ignition on it says current keys there there's two keys already programmed in the car but we're gonna turn the ignition off right now and continue with the procedure okay i think we have to open it so i just add another key Yes. And it's learning the key right now. Can I wait? Can I wait? And the key was successfully learned. As you can see this this tool did everything automatically. It didn't ask me for the pin code because it already read the pin code so if you want to add more keys just press yes and that we go and if you don't just press no and now we can erase all the codes that we have erasing all the codes it passed all the codes good and that means everything's good now now we have to try our key take it off make sure the locks work as you can see everything works now we turn it on and there we go everything turns on Fine. all right guys i hope you like this video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time bye